Here's my beef steak tomatoes. They're growing good. I probably planted them two or three weeks ago. Well, you know, I grew them from seeds in January, but I put the plants in the ground about three weeks ago. Back in March. And they're doing pretty well. See them? I had to replant that one. It uh, probably got too much fertilizer. Boy, you can put this on them and it really does well. But you know what? You don't need very much. Just a very tiny pinch. And I put, I dig a hole a lot deeper than the plant. These are mostly uh, Roma and Cherokees that I haven't got in the ground yet and I'm going to. I've got some of them in the ground. Anyway, you dig the hole. Like I use post hole diggers. And uh, I dig it, you know, about the depth of those post holes diggers, the blades on them. And then I throw some dirt in the bottom of the hole, about, you know, three or four handfuls. And then, see how tall this plant is? It's probably a foot tall. Oh, it's pretty tall. And uh, throw some, just a pinch of this. And I'm talking just a tiny pinch. If you get too crazy on that, it will kill that plant deader than hell. Anyway, I just put like a pinch and throw it in the bottom of the hole, put some dirt on it, and then put the plant in and then fill it up. I am so slow at planting my garden this year. See, I still got Brussels sprouts that I still haven't put in the ground. I just put one in the ground every once in a while. There's one there, the first one I planted, and then second one and I put that that fertilizer in there anyway there was nine plants I know. just about got to the end I got a de-weed right here and uh, haven't done it yet here's what I'm talking about if you happen to get too much in the hole that fertilizer see that plant there it's just over fertilizer it's probably not going to come on that one there might be okay. Those are probably Cherokee purples or Romas, I don't know which. And then I planted some Romas and Cherokee purples down here on the end. And I just planted that one probably yesterday. I need to plant another one right down here. Anyway, I got plenty more to plant. And uh, that's the situation. See these uh, garlic? This is, I don't know what brand. Garlic, somebody gave it to me. And I really liked it. I ate most of it they gave me, but then I decided to plant some. And those are those big thick ones. And then, here's some more of those big thick ones. But then I ordered some off the internet, and that's all those little ones in there and I don't know if these here are sick or they're just ready to harvest they may just be ready to harvest but anyway I don't know I guess I'll pull these ones that are turning all right that's my update of course I got um, asparagus I've been eating that see all those ones I've clipped Look, there's one ready to clip. Every time it rains, I'll get a new asparagus and I'll plant them in the house. Or plant them in the house. I'll cut them off and bring them in the house. And uh, then I plant them in my stomach. Yeah, I've got some ready, just a few. Alright. I guess that's it. Chickens are doing good. Alright, I'm going to talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.